Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome to Posey Lane. So today is episode two in our series for Alice in Wonderland. And one of the things about Alice in Wonderland is there's always all these playing cards around that are kind of doing like the Queen of Hearts bidding. They're kind of like her soldiers and her bad guys, whatever she needs done, they do it. And they definitely want to do it because otherwise they're going to lose their heads. So I really wanted to incorporate playing cards into my decorations. And whenever I make something for a party, I don't decorate my whole house. I usually pick one wall and maybe one table or area to kind of decorate. And so today we're going to be working on decorations I would put on a wall. So with that, I have playing cards and we're going to make a wall hanging with them that's going to be really fun. And we're also going to make some bigger like I don't know what you'd call it, like suits, the different suits. We're gonna be making wall decorations that each are gonna have those different suits on them. And I can't wait to get started. To make the wall hanging, you're gonna need a dowel rod. And I liked this one because I liked how the square shape looked really clean. And I also liked just how I think it'll look really neat and fall like flat when you hang it up against the wall. You also need a deck of playing cards and I just got an old deck that we aren't using anymore that I'm going to be using. You probably have that around your house. And you also need some ribbon or yarn, or this is jute rope, or is it rope? Cord, it's jute cord. So you need something that you can hang um, the dowel rod from and also hang off it to attach the playing cards to. And I'm planning to use tape to attach them. So you'll need that as well. Then for the other wall decorations, I'm using this like foam board that I find at the Dollar Tree. You can see it's a little bit thicker than like poster board. And I'm going to be just making a template of the different suits. And then I'm going to be painting them with this red and black paint. So you also need, you know, something to put your paint on and your paint brushes. And that's what you need to get started. I mentioned earlier that I thought about cutting the dowel rod and I did end up cutting it down to two and a half feet. So that was six inches off of the dowel rod. And then for the jute cord, I ended up cutting five pieces of jute cord, 40 inches each. So three feet and four inches. I wanted it to hang about three feet. And so I did four inches extra just to have that extra just in case. I cut five pieces of jute cord because there's something about odd numbers that just looks a little bit better than when you have an even number. So five would be about every six inches on the dowel rod. I used clear tape just because I realized if I taped it onto the back, it may flip over and I didn't want to see like blue tape. And I pre-made some stacks of the cards so that when I alternate um, on the top, the first card can be black, red, black, red, and then also going down, it can be an alternating color. And I also tried to make sure there was some variety that I had some face cards in there and that I also had some cards that just have the numbers on them. And I also did make sure to try to include the Queen of Hearts since she's an important person to the story of Alice in Wonderland. started to tape it and I realized that the string was just going to be moving and kind of curling because it had been wound up on a spool so I ended up just taping it to the table with painters tape so that it would lay flat and then I taped each card from the stack kind of in alternating diagonal directions and just put some tape on the back and I taped them about every six inches. Each of the strings I ended up taping the same way because it worked so well and I did end up leaving about four inches at the top so that when I hang it, I have room for tying it. Part of what made me love Alice in Wonderland so much was how many times I watched the Disney cartoon of Alice in Wonderland. So when I was a kid, my grandparents had a beach house that we would go to at least once a year, but it was kind of in the middle of nowhere so there wasn't any cable. So to stay busy, we watched a lot of VHS tapes and they were kind of like a new thing at the time. And so there was only like three or four videos that we had that we could watch. And one of those was Alice in Wonderland. So I saw it probably more than 20 times as a kid. And every time I appreciated it a little bit more and enjoyed the art and those new things I hadn't seen the time before. And I think that's really what spurred me to start loving Alice in Wonderland. With the suits that I'm gonna make the wall decor with, 
I did the same thing that I do a lot of the time when I can't really draw something. I make myself a stencil just by going onto clip art, like searching that on Google. And so I searched up the card suits on Google. I copied the clip art, put it onto a Word document, and then just enlarged it to the size I wanted it. And then all I have to do is print it out and cut it out and I have that stencil that I want. Once I have the stencils that I needed, I just trace them onto the white foam board so that then I could cut them out. Originally I was going to use scissors to cut these out and I realized I needed to use an X-Acto knife to cut them, which made me a little bit nervous because I don't remember the last time I used an X-Acto knife and we've moved several times so I could not find my like mat that I'd put underneath it like for the life of me. So I tried to be really careful when I was cutting this, first just kind of scoring it um, and then I kind of lifted it and tried to get a deeper cut on it and maybe even flipped it to see if the cut was going all the way through. But I tried to be extra careful since I didn't have a mat and I didn't want to cut my table. While I was making these suits and the card hanging, it made me think about how this really could work for like a casino night or a poker night, like for decorations. It didn't doesn't necessarily have to be for Alice in Wonderland because it's just card suits and cards. And I love playing card games. I'm not really one to gamble. Like I've never even gambled, but I love playing um, Texas Hold'em and Spades and Gin and Gin Rummy. And I love those strategy card games. Do you enjoy those too? What's your favorite card game? Once I got them cut out, I noticed that the edges kind of looked rough from cutting because I'm just not an expert cutter when it comes to using uh, an X-Acto knife. So I did try to just trim the edges with scissors and it wasn't really still looking clean. And I went through my craft closet and looked and I found sandpaper. And so I took sandpaper and just sanded all the edges of all the different suits that I had. And that seemed to actually work really well to give it a clean, nice look. Once I had it, like the clean, nice look that I was wanting, I took red paint and black paint and started painting the different suits. And I noticed that with the black, it did a little bit better coverage than the red. So I only had to do two coats of the black, but with the red, I did end up having to do three coats because the white was still kind of bleeding through. I didn't really want there to be a lot of brush strokes on there once it was drying. So I used a foam brush. I like sometimes how that looks. It just made sense to me to use a foam brush for that like finish where it didn't have like some brush strokes to it. Ready to hang the cards that I made onto the hanger and just a side note with this twine and making this kind of triangle shape what I did was just eyeballed it to where I wanted it on the height so I tied just with a double knot on either end and at first it was actually too long and luckily because this is just twine from the Dollar Tree I cut it and I just double knotted it again and now I like the height when I'm hanging it so Depending on where you put it, you may want it, you know, a little bit uh, longer string or shorter string. And that's great about this is that that's customizable. Now I'm ready to hang all of my cards and I'm doing a pattern of black, red, black, red at the top. And that way I'll alternate. And I made enough so that I can do about like, I think every six inches, but I'm not really gonna eyeball it. I'm not that, I mean, I'm going to eyeball it. <laughs> I'm not that exact of a person. Like even if I measured it, it would still come off a little wrong because I'm just not good at being that precise. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and make sure I like the way it looks. And my plan is just to double knot it and then to trim off any extra string that I have. Now that I have them all tied, I'm just going to kind of adjust them a little bit, make sure I like where all of them are hanging from, and I'm going to cut off this extra twine because I don't need it. And I also noticed that some of these, the backs are showing, but luckily we use clear tape, and all you have to do is kind of like 
twist it and adjust it so that the different parts are showing. But make sure you like the backs of your cards too and you think those are pretty before you make this. And I actually do like the way the backs of these cards look. I really like the way this looks. I like how it hangs and how it looks like the cards are falling. I think that's really fun. I may hang it up higher when I'm doing it um, for a party, but right now I like where it's hanging. And now it's time to add our different suits that we had made. And whenever I put something on the wall like this, I always use like, what is this, painter's tape? Just the blue painter's tape that you find in the painting section that your hardware store or Home Depot or whatever. And I'll just do that because I don't want the paint on my wall to get damaged. And this usually comes up really easily if it doesn't stay really long. So when I'm hanging these, I realized that because there's a black and red, I want to do a black and red on each side and kind of do the red here and then another red one here, kind of diagonal, and then a black here and the other black one here so it's diagonal just to add a little bit of interest so it's not too uniform, but it looks pleasing to the eye. I think I'm kind of in the way of the suits, but the suits together with the cards and those suits on the cards, it looks so cute together. And really you could probably make more of these and put them if you had a bigger wall and put them all over the wall just to fill in the wall more. But for right now, I really like the way it's come out. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week when we made this craft. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I can't wait for our next craft.